Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is John Boland and I am a member of the Banlas Law Active Retirement Association, the BARA. And we are particularly hit by this new change that has occurred in our transport facilities in the, in the town, both going towards the east and going towards the west. Not alone is our club of Barra affected, but the ones in Galway, Crockwell, Ordmore, Loch Ray, Kilreekel, Ochram and ourselves are also affected. Now the, the privilege of travelling free and having a free pass for public transport was one that was given to retirees to, uh, as a sort of a sop for make up for the fact that they were now finished and thank them for the contribution towards the whole of society. Now it's been withdrawn and any, any privilege that's been withdrawn is hurtful and needs explanation and we hope in fact that they will change their minds again because free travel meant so much to Banlaslow from people who came into the town, kept restaurants going, kept shops going, kept supermarkets going, kept chemist shops going and people from Banlaslow travelling into Galway are responsible for keeping hotels, restaurants, anywhere that served a cup of coffee or a lunch and people could afford to go and didn't mind spending this money because their transport was free. The same with Dublin. The Abbey Theatre, I'm convinced, would have made less of a profit had it not been for the active retirement associations all over the country, but particularly from the West, who travelled on Saturday to see a show and had free travel home once the show, the matinee, was over. So I think it's something that should be looked at uh, with all attention and hopefully the whole thing will be reversed. I'm delighted to be here today on the Fair Green in Banlaslow supporting everyone that is out today calling for the restoration of the 20 X20 expressway service from Galway to Dublin. This was a really important bus service for people in rural towns right across County Galway and we are asking that Minister Ryan will listen to the people gathered here today, will listen to the petition that myself and my colleagues handed in to the Minister recently, over 1,700 signatures. We want to see this service restored and at a time when we're being, being encouraged to be green, to think green, to get out of our cars, to use public transport, then we cannot have, on the other hand, no investment and routes being pulled. It's not always about profits and viability. It has to be about a public service. And this is a service that is badly needed. For far too long, rural towns and villages have been pulled of services. We have to say enough is enough. And that is what everyone is doing here today. Hello, I'm uh, Councillor Tim Broderick, uh, a public rep in the Banlaslow Municipal District. I'm here today on the beautiful Fair Green in Banlaslow and here to protest against the total inequality and rural discrimination yet again coming to the fore with the removal of our bus services uh, from the Banlaslow area and, for, and the hinterlands outline. This is a vital service that we need to see reinstated immediately uh, without any more uh, gerrymandering and bit feeding us uh, s uh, smaller bus services, uh, independent bus services who, who will not uh, provide the same service as, as what we have become accustomed to and deserve. The reason I'm here today is because what we've seen is a 60% reduction in the bus services outside Porty Uncle Hospital in Banlaslow for people that are using the free travel pass. And on top of that, in terms of the villages uh, going right into uh, East Galway, going into South Roscommon and into South West Meath, villages connecting with the town of Athlone and the Porty Uncle Hospital in Banlaslow, they're seeing a dramatic fall off in the level and frequency of services that are going to be made available. So at a time when we're talking about encouraging more people to use public transport, when we're encouraging people to leave their car at home, not to bring congested streets into Atlone and Banlaslow, Galway and Dublin, here we have a decision being taken to actually reduce services. And what we want to see is a subsidy put in place that would actually see services being developed into Portiuncla Hospital and Banlaslow, connecting up with the likes of Castle Bar Hospital, Roscommon Hospital and connections uh, into at loan that allow people then to connect with the other bigger bus services to other parts of the country.